from eating your way out of the league to becoming an armed robber, these are the NBA players who let themselves go. Recently, Zion's become one of the biggest names in basketball, but if he doesn't get it together soon, he won't be in the NBA for much longer. In high school, Zion was in peak condition, weighing 175 pounds and was a highlight every night. But within just a couple of years, Zion gained 110 pounds, ballooning up to 285 and only 6 foot 6. This guy is a pro athlete with a 32.8 BMI. That is clinically obese. By the time Zion made it to college, this crazy weight gain started causing problems. During a game against North Carolina, Zion got the ball and drove to the hoop like he's done a million times. But as soon as he powered into the paint, his foot exploded right through his shoe, injuring his knee. This was the moment that it became clear that Zion's weight was an issue. Being 285 pounds, yeah, he could fly through the air like Jordan, but a lot of people were worried that if Zion doesn't get in shape, he'll have a career full of injuries. And throughout his first year in the NBA, things only got worse. Zion showed up to the NBA bubble in the worst shape he's ever been in. A top three heaviest player in the league at nearly 300 pounds and only six foot six. Only one other player in NBA history was around that weight and height, Robert Trailer, And he was also destined to be a star. But Robert's size ruined his career and life when he died at only 34 from a heart attack in 2011. Fast forward to 2020, and Zion's facing similar issues. He sat out more than half of the season, then when he did play, he was struggling to catch his breath and keep up. And you know NBA Twitter didn't take this lightly. All I know is, there's no way Zion can keep playing at this weight, and if he doesn't fix it soon, his career is gonna be over. But Zion isn't the only young player in the league struggling. At 19 years old, Markel Fultz was a top name in the country and destined to be a star, but his career was ruined within weeks of making it to the NBA. In college, Markel didn't show much weakness. Dropping 23 points per game, Markel was literally doing better than Michael Jordan at that age. So it's no surprise that he was drafted number one in 2018 to the 76ers. What could go wrong? Heading into training camp, everything was going according to plan. But when Markel showed up, something seemed odd. Markel was shooting from his chest rather than above his head like he did in college. And when he was asked why, Markel said, it feels like someone's holding my arms down. It turns out that weeks before, Markel started getting a mysterious shoulder pain that left him unable to lift his arms over his head. So he decided to change his jump shot up. But when Markel started practicing this new form, it looked like he forgot how to shoot the ball entirely. Like, what is he even doing here? He went from 23 points a game in college to 13 points a game in the NBA. It was completely embarrassing. This man was trying everything, literally anything to try to find a rhythm again. But nothing was working and this mysterious issue started getting worse. No player in history dealt with this problem before and no doctors were able to give him an answer either. Philly let Markel change his jump shot multiple times and they gave him months to practice. But he was never able to become that third piece alongside Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid that the 76ers were looking for. So Philly had no choice. They traded Markel away because they couldn't deal with it anymore. And years later, no one has an answer for what's going on with Markel. Even with the magic, he still couldn't shoot the basketball like he used to. And now, things just got a whole lot worse. Coming into 2021, Markel just signed a $50 million deal and was on a mission to prove everyone wrong. But just two weeks later, he suffered the worst injury of his NBA career, a torn ACL. Everyone knew it was bad right when he fell to the floor, and it was announced Markel was done for the season. From being a top player in the draft to his career being ruined, I don't know if he's gonna be able to recover from this. And it's starting to become a trend for young stars to deal with issues like this. Luka Doncic in his third NBA season is already a superstar, but following his incredible performance in the bubble, fans and critics are noticing that there's something going wrong. Luka came into the league as a scrawny kid from Europe, and he's since tried to put on some weight so, you know, he can bang with the big guys in the NBA. But uh, I think he might have taken this a bit too far. During the NBA preseason, fans noticed Luka is looking a lot heavier than usual. And of course, they started mocking the poor guy on Twitter. Pictures came out where Luka was noticeably fatter than last year, and he instantly turned into a meme. Even Luka's trainer clowned him, saying he's not in the best shape. It was reported that Luka spent the hiatus from the NBA, binge-watching Netflix, playing video games, and eating all day. Luka was expected to become an MVP this year, but adding on extra pounds won't make it any easier. Reporters then asked Luka about his weight gain, and he said, People on Twitter say stuff, but it's true, I'm not in my best shape. Never been a muscular guy, so what can I say? While Luka's situation isn't the worst, he needs to get it under control, or he will end up ruining his career, like this next guy. Isaiah Thomas at 5'9", 
has always had to use his confidence to succeed in the NBA, but it looks like his arrogance may have been his downfall. While playing for Boston, he averaged nearly 30 points per game. It looked like he was becoming a star in the NBA. But fast forward to 2021, and no team has wanted him in years. Well, when you demand money you haven't earned, that can cause problems that you didn't see coming. Isaiah's downfall started as soon as he said he deserved a $100 million plus contract. From this point on, things were never the same for Isaiah. He suffered an injury in the postseason, and despite saying he'd get back to his old ways, things went different than he planned. Many felt like he was only a star because of the Celtic system, and Isaiah let his ego get the best of him. He was traded to the Cavs, then forced to sit out half of the season because of injury, and it was clear he was no longer a superstar. Isaiah couldn't explode like he used to, he couldn't shoot, his confidence was gone. So no teams really believed in him the way Boston did, and he was shipped to the Lakers before needing hip surgery. Isaiah kept promising the world that he was grinding and getting back to his all-star ways, but he seemed like a shell of his former self. He's recently gotten opportunities with the Nuggets, Wizards, and Clippers, but after being released from LA this last time, it's pretty much over for Isaiah's career. But the bright side is, at least he didn't become an armed robber like this next NBA player. Imagine going from an NBA star to an armed robber. Robert Swift's career took a turn no one saw coming. In high school and college, Robert was doing things not many players could do. 18 points and 15 rebounds a game. So it was obvious this man was going to be a top pick in the NBA. But being 7 feet tall and barely 200 pounds, Robert's family felt that he wasn't ready for the pros yet. But Robert didn't care. He declared for the draft anyways and was the 12th pick by the Sonics, where he signed a $4.4 million deal. But not long into his career, it was obvious that Robert made a huge mistake. He only lasted 16 games during his rookie season and literally didn't even average a single point per game. Knee injuries were completely destroying his ability and despite having surgeries, the knee issues kept happening. Robert was expected to become a face of the NBA, but because of the knee problems, he didn't even last 100 games. His life was falling apart before our eyes and people around him didn't make the situation any better. Robert was too generous with his money, helping people with new cars, college tuition, and more. So when Robert was cut from the NBA after spending the majority of his money, everyone disappeared and things got ugly. Robert fell completely out of shape, developed addictions, and became an alcoholic. It got so bad that he neglected his friends, family, and child support payments, so the bank foreclosed his house. No one heard from Robert for a long time, and when people came to check on him, he was gone. A camera crew made their way into his home to look for clues, and that's when it was discovered that Robert was not okay. Bullet holes in the wall, garbage piled up, bugs everywhere. It was the most disgusting home you can imagine. And to think an NBA player worth millions live like this. No phone calls, no text messages, no one had any idea where Robert ran off to until the police got a call in 2014. They got an anonymous tip that crimes were being committed in a local home, and in this house was a notorious dealer the cops wanted an excuse to bust. So the SWAT team pulled up, busted in the door, and surprisingly found Robert in the house as well. The home was filled with contraband, so of course Robert was arrested, and life didn't get much better for him after this. Committing crimes like home invasions, robberies, and more, Robert never turned the situation around. Yeah, life doesn't get much more downhill for a pro athlete than that. Or does it? Latrell Sprewell is a four-time NBA All-Star who had all the potential in the world to become a Hall of Famer. But unfortunately, this guy let himself go in more ways than one. First off, Latrell came into the league and instantly became a star. Averaging over 20 points per game with the Warriors, no one could stop him except himself. One day during practice, Coach PJ Carlissimo was watching the players closely. And Latrell was having an off day, so PJ yelled at him to make better passes. But Latrell took this criticism to heart. Latrell ran over, threatened to kill the coach, and choked him out until teammates pulled him off. Jesus. And that led to him being suspended for 68 games. But he wasn't done yet. After the suspension, Latrell was traded away. And for years, he was playing pretty well with the Knicks and Wolves. And he was doing so well that Minnesota offered him a $21 million contract extension in 2004. But Latrell decided to turn that down, saying, I got my family to feed. I guess 21 million wasn't enough. This brought Latrell some horrible karma. That season ended up being the worst he ever had, and Latrell was never offered another NBA contract. But he ended up retiring with $100 million to his name, and you'd think that was enough to last a lifetime. Unfortunately, within just three years, 
every dollar was gone. Latrell was sued by his ex-wife for $200 million, and this led to him having his yacht repossessed. He defaulted on a $1.5 million mortgage, owed millions in taxes, and more. And this all sent Latrell into bankruptcy. If only he signed that one deal. Everything probably would have been different, but he chose to let himself go instead. Thick Ross, James Hardy's. That's what the people are calling James Harden after this picture went viral. How can you go from a top player in the NBA to every fan clowning you like that? Well, it wasn't always bad for Harden. He came into the league looking completely different. He was drafted nearly beardless and was just over 200 pounds. But he transformed his look and became the face of the Rockets. It didn't take long for Harden to become one of the league's best and most popular players. So things were going great for him, but clearly he let it get to his head. He started skipping workouts, practices. Rumors came out saying Harden was renting private jets to fly to Vegas and party in between games. One headline said that he spent over a million dollars at a club in one night. It's no wonder this dude hasn't won a championship yet. You got players like LeBron training every single day, even in the offseason. Now recently, when Harden demanded a trade from the Rockets, this put all the spotlight on him. He was seen partying with Lil Baby, skipping interviews and practices. Cameras then caught him a few times looking out of shape compared to his usual self, and it led to fans comparing James to Rick Ross and Kendrick Perkins. But the bright side is, he's worth half a billion dollars and he can still figure things out. Only time will tell. This video is actually really interesting. It's about how players got their jersey numbers. You would think it's just the number, but like it goes so much farther than that. Like, you, you think you know why Giannis picked 34, but you don't know. You, you don't know. That's why you need to click on this video and find out. It'll blow your mind, dog.